Hi there, it's story time with Grandma, and I am going to read a really good story for you today. Let's see. I'm gonna read these books, Silly Sally and Dr. Dan. Let's go check these out. All right. Silly Sally by Audrey Wood. Silly Sally went to town walking backwards upside down. On the way she met a pig, a silly pig. They danced a jig. Silly Sally went to town dancing backwards upside down. See how she's upside down? On the way, she met a dog, a silly dog. They played leapfrog. And they're leaping over each other. Silly Sally went to town leaping backwards upside down. On the way, she met a loon, a silly loon. They sang a tune. Oh, I'm missing pages. Silly Sally went to town. She met a sheep and they fell asleep. Now, how did Silly Sally get to town sleeping backwards upside down? Along came Nettie Buttercup walking forwards right side up. He tickled the pig who danced a jig. He tickled the dog who played leapfrog. He tickled the loon who sang a tune. He tickled the sheep who fell asleep. He tickled Sally who woke right up and she tickled Nettie Buttercup. And that's how Sally got to town, walking backwards upside down. That's a cute story. All right, we're gonna read another story. This is called Dr. Dan. Dr. Dan, the bandage man. Dan is a busy fellow. He is always on the go, but one day in a big backyard cowboy fight, he fell and scratched his finger on his make-believe gun. And what do you think the big cowboy did? He cried. Boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, Dan cried, and he ran in the house to tell his mother. Now his mother was always glad to see Dan, but a cowboy crying, how could that be? Why, that's nothing to cry over, mother said when she saw the bright red spot. We'll wash it, clean it with soap and water and bandage it up and it will be better than new. And quick as a wink, it was. But when Dan, back went Dan to the cowboy fight and all the boys gathered around to see his new clean bandage. The next day, Dan hitched up Spotty, his pup, to take his sister Carly's doll for a ride. But Spotty saw a cat he wanted to chase and he forgot about that doll. Lickety split, Spotty started off. He started running after the cat. The wagon tipped over and the doll tumbled out and Carly started to cry. My baby hurt herself because the doll had a bump on her head. This is nothing to cry over, said brother Dan. I know what to do. So he led Spotty and Carly into the house. And he carried the hurt little doll himself with a rather bad bump on her head. We'll wash it clean, said Dan, and he did. We'll bandage it up, and he did that too. Dan opened the wrapper, he picked the bandage out and held the two stiff pieces and zip, 
The bandage was on the doll's head. See that? There, smiled Dan. She's better than new. Now, said Carly, I want one too. She has an owie right there. Are you hurt? Asked Dan. I don't know, Carly said, looking for a scratch. And sure enough, she found one. It was a very tiny scratch and rather old, but it was a scratch just the same. Dan washed it and bandaged it up. Thank you, said Carly. It's better than new. Woof, woof, said Spotty and held up his paw. Dan laughed. I guess you want a bandage too. So he put one on Spotty's paw. Next day, Daddy was home from work. He went out to mow the lawn. And what do you think? He cut his finger on the slippery, sharp lawnmower blade. Let me fix you up. Dad, said Dan, I know just what to do. We'll wash your finger clean and bandage it up and it will be better than new. Dad looked surprised, but he followed Dan and soon Dad wore a bandage too. You're a handy fellow to have around, said Dad, and he shook Dan's hand. I have a new name for you. We'll call you Dr. Dan the Bandage Man, and they do to this day, so we will too. I got to be a doctor. Yeah, and then this page right here says, someday maybe you or one of your toys might get bumped or scratched. That might happen. And when it does, you really can use one of these bandages in the front of the book. I guess this book used to have some bandages with it. Sponsored by Band-Aid. That's a cute book, isn't it? I hope you like these two books, Silly Sally and Dr. Dan, The Bandage Man, and I Love You.